So last time we look at the England gambit that starts with e5 for black, where he sacrifices the pawn, any hope of opening the d-file and eventually picking up white's queen. And today we're going to see how white can very easily counter this. So let's flip the board around. You see that from white's perspective, the best move still is to take that pawn on e5. Now the black bishop comes, putting pressure on the f pawn. You can still go ahead and play knight f3, as we saw last time. d6 is what black should play if he's hoping to, uh, to trick white. You can still take this pawn, it is safe to do so. But when he offers this knight, of course, you cannot take the knight because that's when he can trick you, taking you here, you have to take back and then he's going to pick up your queen. But a very simple way to counter this is to develop your knight here to c3, also guarding your queen. Now some black players who don't fully understand the position may still leave their knight there. For example, they may develop the other knight to c6, which would be a big blunder. Now you can actually go ahead and take this knight. Because if they still check you, we should take f2 check. You can simply recapture with a king. That's your only move. But after you've done that, and they now take the queen, you can take back with a knight. And as you notice here, white is completely winning being a bishop, a knight, and a pawn up. Okay, you cannot castle, but with that massive material advantage, white should be winning easily here. So to recap, the key move here for white is not to take the knight here, but to play knight c3, giving extra protection to the queen. And that is a very simple way to counter the England gambit.